Hey fellow birders, real quick, I thought I'd introduce you to a piece of new birding technology and it was part of a Kickstarter last year, um, towards the end of last year at least, and it was called the Puck by Birdweather, um, or the name on the thing is Science Labs. So this is a microphone, um, you can set it up on a tripod, on your backpack, whatever you feel is uh, the best place to put it. Um, you can set it up so it connects to your home Wi-Fi and sits there and records birds and identifies them all day long. Or you can set it as standalone, throw it on your backpack, take it out for a hike, set it in the middle of the woods and go collect and then let the uh, let bird weather upload the file and then parse out what birds it detected. So pretty cool, pretty accurate so far that I found. Um, when it comes to the app, very easy to use. Uh, no, no real problems getting things hooked up and working. Um, the puck itself has a GPS in it, so when you set it up, it records it records a lot of telemetry as well that could be useful to to scientists if that's part of your uh, part of your goal in using such a such a device. Um, I'll play real quick. Yesterday there were some Canadian geese that this thing picked up. Um, so when you go into the app, it shows you a map um, of a day. It'll show you all the species it detected. Pretty cool. And here we'll do with the Canadian goose. Yesterday, several of them flew over. When you have it, it shows you the picture of the bird. It shows you the probability and the number of detections. Um, so here it is, 98% Canadian goose. And let's have a listen. So there you go, you had that one. The other things, there's only one or two birds on here that maybe I don't think it saw yesterday, but everything else has been pretty, pretty accurate. Um, I don't think there was a golden crown kinglet out there. Um, it's got black capped chickadees with nut hatches in the background. Um, I do get a lot of birds at my feeders, so really it's, it's really difficult probably to parse out some of the different species. So um, flickers, I have tons of flickers. Let's see if we can play one of those. So just the one, the one real loud detection and then all the other smaller ones. So again, cool device. Um, definitely worth, definitely worth considering if you're a birder by ear. And just real quick, we'll kind of see what the website, since it was a... Since it was a Kickstarter, there was different different price levels when I bought it. Right now, you can order it for about two hundred and fifty dollars. Um, they call it the Portable Universe Codec, an AI uh, powered bioacoustics platform. So again, pretty cool. You can use it wherever you want. You just have to go collect it if it's in a remote location and download the file. Um, but I just stuck it out on a tripod, let it cook um, several hours, and I had had several species of birds. So when you get when you get the app, it shows you voltage, um, tells you how many species it had that day, how much of the cards used. Um, so quite a bit of little, quite a bit of the detail. Let's see if I can zoom in there, clear it up. So it's got a lot of different features. Um, humidity, light, air pressure, um, yeah, accelerometer. All these are different little little things. Pretty neat little device. Um, definitely, if you're into the birding by ear, take a take a good look at this. This might be something to um, just add to your collection of birding birding accessories. So you got your binoculars, you got your trail cameras. Now add some bioacoustics detection to it, and you've got your complete bird kit. So thank you for watching. I'm Devin with In Pursuit of Birds. I appreciate you taking time. Um, if you like this video, take a, take a minute and just subscribe. I don't put out a lot of content, but I try and put out quality content. Until next time.